Hello everyone, this is Xander Geron, and I am back with the first Dutch Exceptional Tournament. This is game three of the finals. If Poon wins this one, we'll go on to the next round of the finals, which will once again be best of five. If Belanger wins, then there could be as many as two more games after that. Anyway, on the blue team we have General Belanger with A... Now, uh, what is it? It's USA mm, Armored Deck. And on the red team, we have Putin 187 with a USSR General Deck. So, yeah, this should be interesting. And obviously, we're here in Plunging Valley. We have a longer deployment. Looks like Belanger is starting with an FOB, and so is Putin. This is going to be an interesting battle. Alright. Staying with blue. Got some riflemen in M113s. And that looks like probably presumably a Stinger C in that. There, M113, Rangers in the M35. I pres I'm pretty sure that's Rangers down vetted. And then those are up vetted riflemen, I do believe. Got a Chaparral, M182. Just one M182. Does have an M728 CEV. That's a fun one. Very fun. As well, we also have a 107mm mortar. And over here, looks like more Rangers. Base Falcon, Base Abrams, and more Riflemen. I think those are I think those are in Rifleman 90, because they could be 75. And then you'll have a M551 A Cav for Recon. That's two armor on that. Yeah, yeah, it is. As well, you got another Base Abrams, another Vulcan, another A Cav, and more Riflemen. And a one command start. As for Putin. Got scratch it, so that's going to be Vade V90 in there, I think. BTR90 with specialized GRU, so that's going for Bravo. Forgot to point out where these guys are going. That's obviously going for Bravo there. That group seems to be going for Alpha. That group's going for Foxtrot. Pretty standard. That's for Putin. Got MI8 MTV. That's going to be Rod's Vedka in there, I do believe. More scratch it. Couple of T72Bs. That's a fun one. Especially if you can do at close range, if you can do the. Uh, Missile trick, it can be pretty effective. And BTRT is... It's not bad. And then, yeah, more of Svedka. Looks like an Igla there. More of Svedka. More Spetsnaz. T-72A, that's a 55-pointer? Yeah. It's okay for the price, I guess. And BMP-3. That's a fun one, especially with the Arcan on an open field. Which, if we can get into here-ish, that'd be pretty powerful. Or it could be pretty pretty effective. But yeah, it definitely looks like Putin may be focusing more on Foxtrot Delta, by the looks of it. Kind of in this area. Ooh. Guessing the MI8's gonna go forward. Blasher is definitely lying on the Vulcans, which are not like the worst ever. Uh, they're not. They just have a. They're basically their rate of fire and long salvo length really is what makes them effective. Uh, they don't outrange the MI8s by much, obviously. You know, 2450 versus 2275. And run like 15 points. Just a cheap way of getting an MI8. Oh, rip those Rangers. Oh, Vulcan's opening up. And doesn't do a lot. 
M8 goes behind the trees. So Putin's definitely gone to there because Belanger is armored, so he is slow. Oh, M8 didn't. Ooh, those guys got really stunned up. Oh, and it still got more rockets. Now it's up. So the M1A2 is going to make it in. Chaparral's trying to do its thing. There we go. That's 6 HP on that. Yes, it is. Or 6 HE. And then that well, M8 swing down. Oh, does that actually hit something? And now they're going to die horribly, but the Spetsnaz GRU is still there. And that's, yeah, base rifleman. Ah, uh, yeah, those Spetsnaz. Um, with a decent bit of micro, those Spetsnaz might be able to come out ahead, depending on what happens to those riflemen and their fire support. But, yeah, Putin has more guys on the way, so it's probably not going to end well for Belantra up here. Spetsnaz GRU there, that's a good spot for them, gives them lots of spotting into here. Yeah, riflemen are just... Without their fire support, those riflemen are useless. Oh, I'm winning. Abrams, um... Uh, oh, did the Vulcan go down? Uh, but the M8's out of ammunition now. Uh, that being said, the Abrams is getting pretty chewed up, especially... Oh, Arkin, yep. Yeah. Rip that. Here, oh, BTR-90 is just going for a drive. Oh, but there's the H1F Cobra coming out. Oh, that was probably spotted, so we see sending the Cobra out to take care of the BTR-90. <clears throat> Oop, and an M151A1 CP coming out for Alpha. Looks like Belanger wants to get that plus two. Just in fact, he just got rolled in Foxtrot. Uh, I don't know if that's the smartest idea, but he does have a pretty solid force here in the top of Bravo. And he has a decent sized force in, uh, whatchamacallit, Alpha. Ooh, Chaparral barely makes it out of that. Oh, Cobra just barely squeaks out against the BTR-90. Oh, Smirch. No, Bergen. How big is the Bergen? Is it 227 or something? 220. Oh, Spetsnaz you engaging the rifleman. <clears throat> that CV needs to get in there. Oh, there you go. Fake, well, its accuracy's gone to hell now since it's stunned or panicked. Oh, but. And the Cobra on one side, but those scratches there could take care of the Cobra if it gets too close. Oh, um, yep, yeah, right to the Cobra. That's a good pincer on those Groove from Belanger. Uh, but now the Vedave and Sapari are going to take care of the Rifle 90. And an M1 Abrams is really not going to be enough by itself. BTRT takes a big hit from the Abrams. Oh, transactions down, and there it goes. That's no, probably trying to, or was aiming on the scratchets. Oh, Cobra's swinging in, but yeah, the scratchets are there. And yeah, it's gone. Oh, they whack the Vulcan. If that Vulcan hadn't get gone blit, or hadn't gone hit, I would have blitzed those Vade of like nobody's business. Calf's going after the Scratchets and missing. So what's it? 11 AP. Your riflemen are caught on the open. I'm with Rifleman 90 there. Ooh, and the CV could potentially whack those Vade Vade pretty well. Potentially. Not guaranteed. Okay, 29 TB is there. That's dropped the command of tree off in Bravo and then looks like Putin moved his BRDM 2U over to Delta. And it looks like that happened fairly close to when Belanger moved his CV in, so yeah, it's only 10 points for Belanger. This rifleman has snuck in quite a fair distance. However, if they run to the OBR-89, they're going to be in for a bad time. Oh, split up. That M1A2 is still there. That M1 looks like it got whacked by the Vedive. Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, and an MI8 swinging in this row. And oh, some more B2. More grew in the BTR 90. That chaparral is in a bad position. Because when it gets spotted, it's gonna get it's, it's gonna get blapped by that 89. Oh, Poon did pull his Vade A90 back closer into the town so see if he can draw a line of sight on them. That's good. That's clever. Oh, but it, Poon or Blanche is sending these in by themselves. And the BTR90 is just gonna roll right over that ACAF. Oh. Yeah. Oh, but that B turn ID might have a bad encounter with that M1IP. What's this? An H1F Cobra sneaking around. Is that? Oh, oh dear, it zoomed out. Oh. That CEV needs to. Oh. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's happening there. H1F is at the yeah, 80 points. And H1S, that's just the. I want to like the H1S, but the fact that it has the M134 minigun is just. <clears throat> it's just not as good as the H1J that South Korea has. That one's really fun. With the 20mm Vulcan. Well, these guys are out of vampire ammunition now. And yeah, Scratch is going to go down to that Abrams, presumably. If only those riflemen had some M113s to support them. Oh, an A-Eagle. It's okay. It's not bad. Oh, Ur again is Ur again, and that could be potentially pretty bad for that Chaparral. It's not exactly the toughest thing out there. And Putin is splitting the salvo on it by the looks of it. Oh no, those scratches look like they're gonna try and sneak around through the forest. Vede Vey are getting shot up by the rangers. Oh, but the BTR-90 is swinging in. <coughs> no, it looks like Belanger might have noticed the stretch it doing something, so he's calling out some riflemen and a Vulcan. Oh, it's bad sense you're, you're gonna catch up the... Uh, uh. B-29 looks like he got hit by the Abrams. So this part... Oh no, Rangers are falling back. Falling back successfully. H1F is swinging in and... Oh, bad timing on that Cobra though. Alright. Poon's sticking at plus one. He has captured Foxtrot. Let's put Command Infantry into it. And now that Cobra is going to probably get the Nona. If it can spot it. But it's, yeah, it's going for the Delta CV. And Poon does not have any AA forward of the line. Oh, there you go. And yeah, that's what's fun about the Vulcan, is that it can get things at ridiculous angles. And now MLD's coming out, that's going to be able to blitz the Cobra pretty well. Oh, but the is the AA going to try and intercept? Nope. Looks like he's just leaving the Cobra for dead. Oh, but does it land? He lands it. And now the, uh, that's going to evac. However, Putin did have the Igla and the Scratch it there, so that Cobra's effectivity is not going to be much in Kilo, or in Echo. Not Kilo, it's Echo. That having said, since Delta is down, Belanger's now taking at plus one, he's at 20 to 8. Oh, Cobra's going to swing up into Fox for about 1 HP. If it flies too close to that K29TB, that GSHG is going to wreck it. He's trying to dance with it. Ooh, if he gets that supply truck, that'd be a good kill. Oh, it's messing with Jerry over here, is thinking around as well, but Belanger does have a decent number of things to prevent it from getting to his CV and Charlie. And, yep, yeah, the Kerbo went down. Did MLD do anything? No. Oh, it's probably the B turn 90 or something that got it. And Poon has his third command infantry card on the way to Delta. He's used up his entire card now. Because he has, yeah, one, two, three on the board. And 
don't think USSR gets a fourth. Uh oh. An armored box. The greatest threat to a napalm infantryman. That means that they can still panic the hell out of them. <laughs> kind of like that. You know, I do, I do over-exaggerate how awful Napalm Infantry are against vehicles, but they're not good against them. And Putin's captured Delta. Oh, and that's some artillery coming down. He's trying to get the fob by the looks of it. Is that a Paladin doing that, or is that a... Yeah, it's a Paladin. <coughs> oh, MI24VP on this side of the map. I wonder what Putin's planning with that. What is that going for, I wonder? Oh, is Putin trying to get the CV? Looks like it. That being said, Belanger did think ahead and move, put his CV in Alpha in a less than expected location. Oh, that FOB is getting pretty pound, getting pounded pretty hard. There, yeah, and my 24P, and my 24VP still sneaking around. <gasps> and I am sneezing. Oh boy. Oh, beta V getting fixed back up by that girl. No, oh, and specimens here. You trying to sneak in? <gasps> I've been still sneezing. Wow. Let's hope that's not too awful on the microphone. I love allergies, and so should you. Oh, that mob is almost down. I think one or two more hits and it'll be down. Direct hits, obviously. Oh, a second paladin. This is turning to be an interesting fight. Does what? 125? Yeah, 120. Oh. That's now as you're being engaged. They're preoccupied by the rifleman. Belanger, if he's paying attention, needs to move that Vulcan forward to stun him. Oh, more rifleman on the way. Oh, base Bradley, right, he has those. And that's out of fuel. Yeah, not particularly great autonomy on that. Oh. FOBs. <laughs> Just barely hanging on. Oh, but T a T-72B, some Vade V, uh, pretty shot up group of Vade V. Yeah, but Belanger is not risking his Abrams. Not more riflemen on the way. And it's best as Jerry York pulling back. Looks like they got all those guys. Scores are currently 0-0, 0, 0, 43 to 22 for Belanger. Belanger, however that's pronounced. Oh, and yep, the FOB is down. Of course, does Belanger know that? Otherwise, he's just going to be wasting his artillery shells on an empty field. And H1S Cobra just sneak around the side. Right when walking into K twenty nine TB, I'm surprised he did not die. Oh, that guy's worried, so it's accuracy is not as good. I really do like the K twenty nine TB. It's a fun helicopter. It has decent enough speed, a lot of HP, and a lot of rockets. Ooh, and my twenty four VP found the Alpha CV, and the Eagles are trying to get it. Oh, Paladin. Oh, one goes down. <laughs> of course, that one being Goose. That guy needs to bring himself around, but he's... These are not great helicopter hunters. Oh, but the Vulcan found it. 
So that's a big loss for Belanger. He lost 120 point artillery piece and his Alpha CV. So now Putin's taking at plus two. So 40 to 43. Oh, and a pair of MiG 25s are out. The PD. And the specimens near you are also still there. 28P. To catch that, Abrams in the back, they will one shot it. Or in the side, they also one shot it. Oh, right from there, just being overwhelmed by the Vade Vay. Oh, but the MPT 70s there. Took a big hit from the Vade Vay, but it's uh, giving giving the Vade Vay a pretty big, whoop, big uh, smacking. Oh, another pile of riflemen. Oh, but the BTRT is on the way. H1S is moving about, but there is the Igla sitting in Echo, and that's going to be trouble. For the Cobra, that is. Oh, MI 24K. It's a fun one. <coughs> I really want to like the MI 24K, but it's just so expensive. Like, if it had very good optics and cost like 90 points, that'd be actually pretty fun. But I digress. That'd just probably make Kilo Rushes even worse. Because it's, yeah, it's not prototype or anything. Not that they need a mixed deck to do a Hilo Rush. Oh, those rifles are getting caught out by the arrogant. Ooh, one squad just gets deleted instantly. That, 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 that's bad. CHG on this again. 11, so yeah, a direct hit will give a squad. Oh, that Hemet might get intercepted by the GRU. Actually, are those guys being spotted right now? Yes, they are. They're spotted briefly, so it depends on whether or not Belanger is paying attention to his map, essentially. Okay, and oh, yep, the Bradley's has spotted the Spetsnaz, and oh, those two guys got chunked pretty quickly, but yeah, weapons are off. And it looks like Belanger did not notice that at all. Oh, wait. Mm. No, he's just going to keep going. Yeah, he must have just not, must have not noticed it on his um, mini-map. Which, it happens. Ooh, and now he has a Command M1 Abrams out. Or is bringing one out. And the Smith says are on the move again. This time without the Bradley there to see him. Oh, but they are spotted. They were spotted. Ooh, maybe the Rangers might be what's seeing them right now. And strafing run from the Eagles takes care of it. Ah, that's funny. And then MI-24K is still sitting around. Oh, actually. Yep. Eagles would have seen that. But he evacs both of them. However, they're going to be back in like five seconds. Oh, but there's an SU-27M. And the two PDs are there. That's probably why he evac'd them. And then my 24 k is probably going to swing her around, maybe? I don't know. Oh, Palings are still shooting. I'd, oh, actually, did they get something there? Probably trying to get the Ergen. Actually, did they get one of them? I only see one, and there was two, wasn't there? I don't know. Yeah, Palings are aiming. Ergen's not moving yet. Putin must not have shift clicked. There, and actually, is it moving now? No, it's just sitting there. Did something die here? Don't think anything did. Yep, I might 24 k is busy wrecking some rangers. And the SD oh, eagles are gonna dibs it out of here. Or cheesing it out of there. Two PDs and SU 27M, that is not something you want to Oh, SU 27 actually took a big hit there, probably got blapped by a uh, 
Sparrow from one of the Eagles is my guess. Oh, M2 is going after the stretch it. It's not a great, it's not a great IFE at all. Oh, another Vulcan out from the lounger. Looks like he's really getting ready to take care of the Mi-24K. Oh, see which he, Eagles do a run on it. And I got hit by two M9Ls, but they only have four HE, so it still has one HP left. Oh, and my eight's going after Rifleman and the Brads. Oh, the rifle's gonna be gonna make it to cover. Yeah, Braddies are drawing fire. Yeah, even with three armor, they take a lot of damage from those MI8s. Or from that MI8. <coughs> oh, Abram's running low on fuel. And it took a hit from something. That's what happened. Might have been a close range hit from, an o from the 89 or something. Uh, regardless, the Hemet is on the way to probably fix it up and gas it up. Oh, and these guys about to be overrun. Oh, Scratcher goes down. But yeah, uh, Vade of 890 are going to be a bit of a different story. Oop, and the T-72B also got hit. Maybe that's what did it in the Abrams. Oh, rifle that are engaging the uh, Vade of 890. The Brad's went down. Uh, looks like the BMPT was responsible for that. And the Eagles are out. And the Sea Eagle. And yeah, Rifleman just get wrecked. And the command M1 Abrams is almost there if Belanger gets in and we'll give him plus two. And he does need that. Uh, not a whole lot of game left. Not an insignificant amount left though. You know, 16 minutes, a lot can happen that time. But Poon does have 100 points to 43. Oh, Abrams is, needs to get in there. Oh, A1, M1 A2 is out as well. Or moving up, I should say. And all the eagles are there too. There's one in the SU-27M relation now he's happening to his Abrams, but since the SU-27M did take a big hit, it's going to be a while before it comes back out. Yep. Command Abrams is there, so Belanger is taking out plus two now. Oh, Vade V90 got caught up by the Abrams. Oh, and side shot on the MBT-70 from that Vey Duve. But the M1A2 is giving him the good news. Oh, the m one ap took a hit from the Vey Duve, presumably. And now the BMPT saves them. A10A Thunderbolt 2. That's a fun one. Bit slow though. Oh, Vade of A is engaged by the. Oh, yep. Vampire on. RPK off. Thunderbolt's there. Just kind of flying near the front line. Guess if it really comes down to it, you can use it to absorb a bunch of missiles so the eagles don't die in case they get bounced by a PDs or something. That being said, Putin's no fool, so he's not going to try and commit his. Uh, what should we call it? PDs against all those eagles. Uh, nope, there you go, another BM 27. Uh, yeah, I think there's only the one BM 27 that's out. I don't think either of them died, or. I don't think any arrogance have died. Because, yeah, it's a two per card thing, if I recall correctly. Don't mind me, I'm rambling. Oh, it's best nice, Jerry, you've moved up some more. Or in there, another unit there. I cannot communicate clearly at all right now. Oh, is the Nona's going after the M106 by the looks of it? Oh, what's the pound shooting at? Oh, is it going after the Nona? Maybe. Whatever that was went down. Eh, just in that month 13 by the looks of it. Oh, 
Very inspiring. And oh my god, two PDs, SU-27 and an SU-25T. Oh, Thunderbolt's about to die horribly. Oh, that's a lot of the ordnance gone from those PDs. They're evacuating. One goes down. Oh, Pip got one, by the looks of it. Eagles are just spraying missiles everywhere. Oh no, the Pip actually didn't get a shot off on it. it looks like one of the PDs went down. Not a lot of gain from Putin there. I don't think any of those units got anything. Oh, Abrams is stunned. The money too is hanging back. That looks. Oh, that must go for Kota in there. Oh, but it's flying right over Vulcan. And gone. Well, if anyone survives, if it's a Muscari Pakoda, a few guys will survive. Mm, not seeing anyone getting out of that. Could have been he loaded somebody up in there. I don't know. Oh, maybe they are out of vampire ammunition. Looks like. That looks like they did get a hit onto it. On the front of the Abrams, by the looks of it. I hope that's out of fuel. And it's pretty darn low, but none of these things are really good at actually killing armor. Oh, MI-8's flying in, MI-24. Oh, SU-27M! Got something. Oh, does it get the pip? No, it doesn't get anything. Looks like it just donked a bunch of missiles onto nothing. Like it got... Did it actually hit anything? I, don't, I have no idea. I, don't, it looked, I think it got out undamaged, but it, it just missed horribly. Oh, and my 24k goes down to a stinger, I think, is what that got it before it died. And my 8s, oh, that's just a... Decent little tank. No, it's very much a cavalry tank. Oh, I did point out, but yeah, Putin is counter capping Bravo now, so that's giving a plus 108 to 139. Blanja did have that command tank. Up. Oh, actually, the commanding ones died to that kid. What got that? Maybe that was what the SU 27M got. I don't know. Or oh, actually, did it get the IP as well, or is that something else that got that? A bunch of stuff happened all at once, okay? Give me a break. <laughs> uh, so that Abrams is still down a couple HP points, so Bollinger does need to be considerate of that. Oh, SC-25T and the PD's out. Oh, but the A Eagle's engaging. Oh, actually, SC-25T hit it. Oh, SC-25T went down. A Eagle is... Looks like both of them are going to make it out. And that means the Putin's lost both of his PDs. Oh, okay, m 182 is going after the 89, but actually missed its first shot. But he gets another one. There it goes. 3 HP. Yeah, Putin's pulling that back. He can't win a frontal gunnery duel against an M182. Even with this fair, well, he's actually turned his fair off because it's not going to help him. Oh, Abrams missed. 83% accuracy. Why should I hit? Oh, uh, SU-27M. A2 is overextended and goes down. Good play from Putin there. He drew out that M1A2. Oh, SU-27 took a big hit and goes down. That's Putin's lost a lot of planes. In fact, the only, I think the only planes he has left are going to be his MiG-23 MLDs, or whatever they are. Oh, but Belanger did capture the Ural, but... Boone still has that plus one tick. This is going to be a close one. Oh, actually, I didn't check the veterancy on that SU-25T, so Poon might have one of those left still. Oh, two stack of 89s. That's going to be trouble for Belanger. But he does have another command difference. Oh, yes, he does. He's going to try and counter cap Delta again. And he has a lot of stuff there, but those two 89s could be trouble. Oh, Belanger's going to lose his, that Ural. He's going to get cash with the Vady Vay. Or eh, maybe. Might sneak past him. Those riflemen will be able to take care of the Vady Vay 90, though. Oh, Putin's pushing here. 
And that T72B, um, Belanger doesn't have an answer to it. And those Smash's GRU are moving up virtually unopposed at this rate. Oh, wait, no, Rifeman do see him. And there, here comes the Thunderbolt. That, I do not have high hopes for that T72B. And gone. And Scratch It goes down as well. And that MA8 MTV is flying around. Pooh might try and hit him in the flank, hit Belanger in the flanks again, but with just an MTV, it wouldn't really work too well for him. Oh, Thunderbolt. Does it? Eh. All right, I guess. All right, gun run. The Avenger is pretty potent. I have a feeling he's going to probably circle around and try and whack the MA8 with the Thunderbolt. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, and then, yeah, MA8 flies right into the uh, Vulcan. Yep, Seagull finishes it off. And while we're here, that pip needs to be resupplied. Or maybe not, who knows. Depending on what Poon has left for he uh, planes. Oh, scratch it! I get a little bit of damage. Thunderbolt is quite going to try and do in the 89s, but has too many pair left. Yeah, he's turned them off so he can close the range and get more accuracy. And then turn away at the last moment. Oh, they also split up. That might have caused him to lose targeting. Doing the split trick or whatever it's called. Oh, MLD's out. It's going after the Thunderbolt. It's going to chase it down. Oh, but it flies over a Vulcan. That's going to stun the hell out of it. Oh, Thunderbolt got wrecked. Kerosene leak, and then MLD goes down. That's going to be a while before that Thunderbolt's back out. 289s and two T-72As. That's a fair amount of armor that Putin's bringing to bear. And do note that USA is not exactly well endowed in the realm of, uh, what should we call it? Infantry AT. The best they have is the SMA, and that's only on the SMA, and Boulanger doesn't have that. Rifle and 90 are all right in that regard, but it's not enough. Really have to rely on your Bradleys. And your tanks. Oh, Vey Vey moving up there. That could be trouble. Then the specimens you are still less. I could be trouble for these guys here. And yeah, M1 is pulling back, so Putin's back at the plus one tick. 184 to 147. Oh, and the pip is getting hit hard. Did blap a good one into the uh, K29TB, but that's not good for that pip. Oops. A eagle. The A eagle. And then while they both miss, that's kind of impressive. I hope they get one hit on the MI-8, though. Bradley's getting pretty wrecked. Oh, Ranger's getting wrecked. Okay, that MI-8 goes down. Oh, Command 1's pulling back. Oh, right into the VDV. Yep, they're aiming, they're aiming. And side shot. And Hemet is captured by Putin. Wow, I was looking pretty good for Belanger there for a bit, but no, Putin just crushed those hit those hopes and dreams. Oh, and the seagull fly, flew right into an igla. The seagull. Yeah, it needs the evac. Yeah, Belanger's not paying attention to it at this point. He's fortunate that Putin doesn't have a lot of AA. Oh, 89s are... Donked its fur onto something. Is it going for the Vulcan? Looks like it. Hey, it hit. And then that's gonna go down. Yeah. And now that M151A1 CP is all alone. Oh, M1A2's out. That's his second and last. Um, that Seagull's still just asking to get shot down. Okay, now he orders it the evac. Uh, it's not a great position for that M1A2. You got Vade V90 there, and then you have, you have the OBR89 there. That CP's in danger. Ooh, they both trade hits, but yeah, M1A2 is a lot better armored. And has a bigger gun, so it comes out on top. Uh, they break contact. And Vade V do get the M1, do get the CP. And General Belanger surrenders. 
All right, so Putin was victorious with 221 conquest points to 147 for General Belanger. Belanger had 2,870 kills to Putin's 3,180. Oh my god. Hey, you killed Spence and Asuri. That's hilarious. If, it, if, it, if that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do, I guess. Uh, that being said, it's a very close battle for a lot of, you know, for, for the most of the matches, it's very close. It's just, yeah, Putin managed to edge it out in the, near the end there. Uh, heavy commitment on air units from both players. And it looks like Belanger definitely came out on top in that, but... Um, I don't know. He still lost his M1A2 at a very inopportune time. That was just... That's just well played from Putin. You know, he drew out that M1A2 and then whacked it with the SU-27M. You know, a bit, a bit overconfident from Belanger there. He should have had that smoke behind the M1A2. You know, because he, he knows that Putin has the SU-25T and the SU-27M. You don't want to overextend with their super heavy when those guys are a factor. Uh, so I just... Well played from Poon on the uh, infantry side of things. He made great use of his helicopters, the K-29 TBs and the MA-8s, and even the MI-24Ks as well. He got the uh, lucky CV snipe and as well as the artillery snipe on Belanger as well with that MI-24 VP that flew in through the side. That and General Belanger spent a lot of points on base defense, even before he had things getting into his base. You know, he did that preemptively, which, you know... I'm not trying to be insulting to Putin here and make fun of him, but when you're playing against Putin, that's that's what you do. You never you never know when Putin Wade 87 is going to sneak something into your base. So how it goes. Uh, aside from that, I just yeah, just maybe a bit of an overcommitment from Belanger there, but it definitely helped them. You know, you, you don't want Smith as GRU running wild over your base CV. You know, I don't that could have happened to Belanger. You know that's that group squad was pretty close to his spawn CV. Uh, aside from that, he just, yeah, Putin 187 made good use of his ear again. You know, he'd stunned, stunned Belanger's stuff before, you know, sending in his own units. You know, he made good use of his anti infantry fire support. Uh, Belanger didn't really seem to make great use of his. He'd often commit his M113 A3s without really, you know, if he just sent him against Vade Ve or Spesnaz and, yeah, they'd die. He'd send it, you know. He'd often send, basically, he'd send his vehicles in first, and they'd, you know, get hit by uh, RPG twenty nine, which ruins most vehicles' day in one shot. And so, yeah, he could have maybe done a bit better with his micro there, uh, but I don't know. It's just especially in the opening, Poon had the better position. You know, he took the town in Bravo, and he took all of Foxtrot in the opener, and that's pretty decisive. Uh, that being said, Blanchard did manage to hold on to the forest in Bravo for quite a while, but he just just didn't have enough stuff there to hold it because he had to commit you know points elsewhere. And part of it, you know, how considering the number of points he spent on you know base and flank security, he that was less points for him to send elsewhere. Um, aside from that, I think that's the big points. Is you know, Belanger definitely did very well in the air. Yeah, it looked at basically looked at it at the one point. Yeah. He sent out his A-10 to draw fire and then bounce the PDs with his ASFs. Um, a lot of ums for me right now. Yeah, I'm just called here before I keep rambling on. <coughs> As just, yeah, very well played. And since Putin has won three out of the best of five, that means that since it's double elimination, moves on to the another round of the finals. So that which is also going to be best of five. So as many as five more games left in the tournament would be. Yeah, anyway, I'm Xander Chiron, and this is the first Dutch Exceptional Tournaments Finals Round One. You guys have a lovely day.